Good evening. Thanks for joining. I'm Kenny Mack. Big news for Lakeview Chiefs tonight. The head football coach and campus athletic coordinator Doug Coleman put in his resignation today. Just when people were starting to get discouraged about those Central Bobcats, the Angry Orange got not just one, but two statement wins against two of their strongest competitors, as if to say, don't doubt us. Still a couple months till those Friday night lights get turned on, but the schedule is out, which means it's time for us to begin our preview of the West Texas scoreboard football season. Tonight we're talking uh, Maverick McIver, and I feel like I've heard that name before. Like maybe it's been brought up a time or two or 20 this summer. Well, let's just say here we are again. If you're a skilled high school athlete and luck is on your side, you might just get recruited for college ball, but you can call the college lucky if they score a basketball World Cup recruit from overseas. A subplot coming from the defensive side of the ball is one Sam Denmark trying to eclipse a record at 16 years old. One, two, three, who's the winner? I know, and today's yeah, winner is, so. can we get a drum roll, please? Ooh. Jerry, it turned out to be a beautiful night here in San Angelo compared to the downpour we all faced at Lakeview Stadium a couple hours ago. Now we're at San Angelo Stadium and Wiley is taking the lead. I want to talk about this huge hit coming from this guy right here. I just, that caught my eye early in the game. Did that pump you guys up or what? No offense, you're, you're dripping sweat here, so it's not like you didn't get a workout tonight. Oh yeah, I'm not used to this West Texas heat. Permian was going to be bringing a new level of competition this year. You know, last year not so much, but this year you knew you had your work cut out for them. Tonight I present to you Remember the Name, featuring West Texas athletes, young and old, with big dreams and big talent. I'm lucky enough to get to meet many of them, and I'm excited that I'll be able to feature their talents on air for you. Our first kiddo we met a couple years ago. Remember the name Dylan Ford? Well, if you don't, you definitely should. This is what he's been up to. You might remember this guy. Last time we talked to Dylan Ford, he was eight years old. Two years later, he's still pulling the course. I'm teaching 20-something year olds like me how to golf. Not much has changed for Dylan in two years. Same kids, same talents, same dreams, just adding more accomplishments to the list. Like Oh, I didn't know what to do. Starting with landing a spot in a golf magazine, one his favorite golfer, Jordan Spieth, happens to be in. I like him so much. I have a fat head of him in my room. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one of his hats right now. Ford had to place top three in the Starburst Junior Golf Classic to score his name on the magazine's Hall of Fame page. I just kept practicing, practicing, practicing every single day. It's not the only accomplishments that practice has landed him. He shot a two under round in the World Qualification Championship in San Antonio to play in the U.S. Kids World Championship in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Very tough. There's a lot of kids there. Well over 100 kids from 50 countries in his age group. It just feels amazing to be one of those kids. Until then, Dylan will be practicing what he preaches learning from his idol speed and shooting for his all-time goal. I want to make it pro and win the Masters. Not much has changed for Dylan in two years. Same kids, same talent, same dreams. Just a little more hardware to add to the mantle. I'm Kenny Mack, Fox News First. Dylan's average drive distance, guess this, 200. Now the highest he's ever hit a ball is 290 to 300. The average distance for a kid his age is 170, so definitely remember the name Dylan Ford. My name is Kate Henry, brought to you live. Uh, <laughs> I'm Kate Henry. <laughs> Meet the Henry boys. Show some brotherly love, a hug or something. Dre, right. <laughs> I'm 14, 12. I uh, was my two bros at 29th Street Baseball Complex. All-star baseball players and district champs. And I don't even know what to say next. Not only a triple threat in sports. We got a hit and run. But especially for Jimmy Henry. You don't know runs. <laughs> Never know what I'm going to have when I walk around the corner. It's a game of mistakes. Their coach. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And father. That's when feelings start to get hurt. I coach them hard. But at the same time, I also love them hard. A father-son team who finds strength in sports of all kinds. I do lose myself in coaching them and, and making them become a not only a better player, but a, a better person. And everyone who knows the Henry boys dearly will say they are special. And we fight through without a mom. The Henrys lost their mother and wife to cancer 
three years ago. We were open and honest with the boys. We told them almost from day one about it, and we talked about it. Fourteen years Jimmy spent with the love of his life, Ashley. God, God needed an angel, and he knew that we could take care of ourselves. A three-year battle that changed the boys' lives forever. The, the love and the compassion that she had, I have learned a lot. I, I, I feel like I've become a better dad because of it. Ashley was always a part of the boys' life in sports, and while finding strength through each other to move on, sports gave them more strength than they could ever imagine. It's gotten all of our minds off of the real world, I guess you could say. It gave us an escape. I mean, most of the sports we do, we do it for her. And like every sports jersey, after that, we have that. Um, we have a breast scan. Logo. Logo. I don't like to say that, you know, I'm an example to anybody or whatnot, but I, I really think that we might, you know, might be an example to somebody. Good-hearted people in the community and strong players on the field and all thanks to that angel. Please, please don't leave us. Always, you know, keep your seat on their shoulders. I'm Kenny Mack, Fox News First.